Hi everyone, in previous lecture we have already learnt about what is dynamic array, why dynamic arrays and internal working of dynamic arrays. And we have already seen add operation algorithm, how exactly array grows whenever we want to add more elements if we are not having enough space to store. So in this video we are going to cover about delete operation algorithm. So first let's understand when we have to shrink the array in size. So whenever we are having frequent deletions. So to understand delete operation, let's assume that we already have an array of capacity 8 and size also as 8. The capacity of the array is 8 and size is also 8 because total 8 elements has been occupied. Suppose if I want to delete 80, right? So what we will do? The size, the size has to be decreased to the 7, right? And how do we delete? We just delete this element from this position. Means we just update array 7 equal to some invalid value or something. But whatever memory allotted for this array, still same only. Even though we have deleted, the memory will not change, right? Because it is static in nature. So when we are initializing the array, it is just static in nature. So the memory occupied this array, there is no change, right? So because it just updated to some value, some default value. Here I have given as minus 1 or else it will be default value which is 0. So after deleting 80, how my array look like? So what is the capacity now? Capacity is still same only which is 8. Because, so still in memory, it has been allocated 8 elements memory only, right? So it has allocated memory for 8 elements. There is no change in memory, right? So and what is the size? Size has been decreased to the 7 from 8, right? So now let's perform some more delete operations. Now I am going to delete 70. So after deleting 70, so this position we have deleted 70, right? What is the capacity? Capacity is still same, 8 only and size is 6, right? Now only 6 elements are currently present in the array. So after deleting 80, 70, 60, 50, what is the capacity? Capacity is still same 8 only and size has been changed to the 4, right? So only 4 elements are present in the array. So if you notice it still we have occupied in memory but we are not using only, right? So this is waste of space. So how much space is currently wasted? Half of the space is currently wasted, right? So as we are not using half of the space, so I just want to reduce the array size. Right, so that is the concept of dynamic array. So how we will how we will achieve this? So first we have to create a new array which is half of this size, right? Because half of the element half of the size is not filled. The new array size will be four, and then we have to copy elements from actual array into the newly created array. So this is my newly created array. So once we have created array. Just copy the elements from actual array to the newly created array. So after performing this, just update array reference to the newly created array. So this is how we are going to shrink the array. So this is my dynamic array now. And then what is the capacity? Capacity is 4 and size is 4. So if you notice it, array is full, right? So we can't even insert any element. For example, I am getting one insert operation. So insert 100. What it has to do? Again, it has to, we have to re create a new array which is double the actual capacity. Means again, I have to create new array with the capacity as 8 and then size as, size is as usual 4. After inserting, it will become 5, right? So it means that if you notice it, we just created, we just, uh, we just reduced the array size to 4 and immediately we have increased the array size to 8. So means we are just reversing this only, right? So if you look at this, we are just reversing it because we have taken decision that whenever half of the array is not filled, just shrinking size, right? That's the reason we are we are uh, arriving into this situation, right? So this is again not so great because just I have reduced the array size and then immediately for next insert, I have to increase the size, right? So to avoid this, instead of shrinking the size, so what is the formula here? C equal to whenever C, C equal to 2 star size, we are doing it, right? Instead of that, maybe we can uh, do whenever one fourth of the array is filled, then only I want to shrink it. 
Now let's write algorithm for delete operation. So let's assume that array is like this, right? So first condition, what we have to check? Do we have any elements in the array or not? So our array is empty or not? How do we check? Using size variable. So if size equal to zero, if size equal to zero means there are no elements present in the array, either we have to throw exception or we have we simply have to return some invalid value. So in this case, I'm just returning minus one. So next thing is, so whenever we are calling delete, just delete. So our function looks like this, right? So delete. So whenever we are calling delete, it has to delete the last element present in the array. So what is the last element present in the array? At this case, 80, right? So how do we get it? In the data equal to size minus one. Because my, my current array size is eight. And then what is the index? Obviously seven, right? Last in the last element index is seven. So data equal to size minus one. Because I'm going to delete this element. What will be the size now? Size will change to s equal to s minus 1 right so same thing i'll do here so i just do size equal to size minus 1 so this is exactly same as what we do even in case of normal arrays so next thing is what i want to do i just want to shrink my array size so when we what we have decided we just have seen that whenever we are arriving this situation means so capacity equal to four star size so when we will arrive this situation in this case because capacity is 8 means 8 equal to 4 star 2 right only two elements are present in the array remaining all elements got deleted so if capacity equal 4 star size we have to shrink the array means we have to first create new array int so how much space we are shrinking half of the space right so that any insertion or deletion happens smooth right so what we have decided capacity divided by 2 now copy over the elements so for i from 0 to size minus 1 then pi equal to error once we have done this we have to change the reference of array to the this one right so array equal to now 10 so once we have done means so we have changed the capacity right so we have to update the capacity variable also so what is our new capacity capacity will become whatever we have performed here so capacity divided by 2 so this is what we will do in delete operation so the type complexity analysis same as uh, add operation algorithm instead of growing we are just uh, reducing the size of the array i hope this video is very helpful to you stay tuned and happy learning